Right, so moving on to the second part of my video. So let's talk about this thing called CTCS or DCS and why we want to use it. So as you can imagine, now that we've set this radio up to receive signals at this frequency, which corresponds to channel 4, the PMR446 table. So now the problem with this is anyone transmitting at this frequency will get picked up by this radio. And when it does, it's going to power on the audio amplifier and the speaker. But of course, we can force, force it to turn on manually if we want just to listen to what's on that channel. And we can do that by holding this button here. So at the moment, it's just, it's just static, isn't it? Because there's nothing being transmitted. But the problem with this is if there are a large group of people in a small area using the same uh, frequency or channel, then this radio is going to pick up everyone's transmission. So to sort of get around that and to make sharing the same channel possible, um, some modern radios like like these ones have a feature called CTCS, which stands for Continuous Tone uh, Code Square, which I believe, um, or an alternative called DCS, which stands for Digital Code Squelch. Now I'm just going to look that up on Wikipedia so I, I can be sure I'm not saying the wrong thing. So we search for CT, it's actually CTCSS, but it's um, because the LCD is quite short on the, the unit, it's uh, sort of short on CTCS, but it's a continuous tone coded square system. So what this does is, in a nutshell, it tells the receiver not to activate the audio amplifier and the speaker unless the transmission is accompanied by a tone at a set frequency. So we can quickly set, a, a, oh, so we don't want that. We can quickly set a receiving CTCS frequency on the receiver. And it's really up to you what you want to set it to. So if we set it to, for example, 85.4 Hertz, Right. So now watch what happens when I try to transmit without setting the CTCS code on, on this or rather frequency on the transmitter. So as you can see, the green LED illuminates because it's receiving a signal, but the speaker remains muted. So in an area where lots of people are communicating on the same channel, you'll see the green LED illuminate quite often, but the system conserves your uh, the, the energy in your, in your battery by not powering on the audio system and also it prevents you from hearing uh, conversations that you're not interested in so that that's it really um, so let's get this to uh, be able to transmit to this one and make sure to, so that this this receiver is able to pick it up so once again we are using a receiving CTCS frequency of 85.4 Hertz. So all we need to do is go to, go to the trans, transmitter unit. Menu. You can find the menu option. That. So you see this this one's transmitting on, uh, sorry, with a CTCSS code of 79.7 Hertz, which is why it didn't get picked up by this one. Menu. So we need to change it to 85.4 Hertz. Confirm. Right, so now this will transmit whatever is I, whatever audio goes into the microphone with an underlying tone of 85.4 Hertz. And when this receiver picks it up, it will activate the audio system. Oops. So as you can see, it's been picked up successfully by this one. So this is a way of filtering out um, other transmissions that you're not interested in. Okay, so as an alternative to CTCS, the more advanced radios like this have a, an option for using DCS as well. And, and this basically stands for Digital Code Square System. So this allows the radio to filter out communication based on the digital code. So this works in pretty much the same way. So if we set this to transmit with a digital code of 712i, Confirm. then whenever we press the PTT button, it's going to transmit as we can see, it's, uh, the DCS icon is illuminated. So it's going to, to add that digital code into the, the audio stream that's being transmitted. And to receive that, we need to do the same here. So we need to go to receive DCS. 
and we need to set it to the same code as this one which is D712I so I'm going to do that really quick oh no that's N so we need to pay attention to the character at the end because there is uh, an I and there is an N and the numbers in front kind of overlap between them so it's very easy to get them mixed up so we've got 712I here so now we've got receiving DCS at 712I here and now we should be able to pick up whatever is said here. And there we go. Looks like a chum. So that's it really. So stay tuned for the next video. Oops. Where I'm going to explain how to scan for CTCS codes.